everyone today we will know how to do cell counting so first get your flask discard the media and then get your PBS to wash the cells so so that you can get rid of any floating debris um, add around uh, 1 ml of PBS to the flask and just um, cover the surface area and just discard it and then now you add trypsin uh, I'm adding 0.5 ml for this flask this is 25 centimeter cube flask and then now we are gonna incubate at 37 degrees centigrade and 5% of carbon dioxide incubator uh, for around uh, one minute and these incubation times differ according to your cells I'm trying to view on the microscope but I cannot uh, get the focus <laughs> And then yeah, once you got confirmed that your cells got detached from the flask, add your media to neutralize the trypsin effect and just rinse uh, the surface area to detach all the cells out. And now I'm collecting this uh, detached cells in a other tube so that I can centrifuge it uh, to pellet the cells. And uh, the centrifuge, uh, I'm using at 1100 uh, RPG but RCF sorry and then you can uh, change according to your cell type I'm just putting it for four minutes and wait for the pellet okay once uh, we got the pellet we have to discard the supernatant and then add fresh media I'm just adding one ml you can uh, use according to the concentration that you need so I'm just uh, resuspending the pellet in 1 ml of fresh media which is at room temperature and then I'm collecting uh, only 20 microliter for cell counting so you can uh, based on the size of the pellet you can use either less or more of the media to count so now I'm using 10 ml of isotonic solution to the 20 microliter of the cell suspension and set up the cell size. Mine is uh, between 15 to 26 and then I'm counting them. So this machine, the cell counter um, counts the cells in 500 ml of um, the cell suspension mixture which is mixed with isotonic solution. So to know the number of amount of cells in 1 ml I'm gonna count twice and add them together so the first one there are like 465 and the second time uh, there are 465 cells so uh, the cell count should be uh, close to each other the both cell counts um, 10 to 20 maximum 50 can be uh, differ but not more than that and so after uh, counting the cells you need to set up to prime aperture to clean the tube of the machine so that others can use next time so now i'm calculating dilution factor so 20 microliter and 10 ml of isotonic solution so the dilution factor uh, comes to 500 the 10 ml is 10,000 microliter so you multiply the dilution factor with the number of cells to give the number of cells in 1 ml of your solution that's it thank you